I am so excited to share my dream closet makeover with you. everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. Eight years ago, we built our home ourselves, and at that time, we were at the tail end of our build and we had no money left, but I wanted to be my dream master closet turned into kind of an interim situation until we were able to afford doing what I originally wanted to do. So finally, eight years later, I am able to give our closet a bit of a makeover and an upgrade and make it into truly the dream closet that I wanted it to be in the first place. I started with the Ikea PAX units. You might be familiar with them. They're Ikea's closet system and they're fantastic. They're not very pricey, so they are a great option for you if you wanna create a dream closet as well, but on a budget. Ready for some closet design and organization inspo? Let's get started. Here's what our master bedroom closet looked like before. It is a walk-in closet, but it's actually quite small for a walk-in. It's just over nine feet wide and just under five feet deep. We don't have any doors on the walk-in closet because I like the ease of going in and out of the closet without having to open and close doors. My husband, Sean, especially likes that. So I really wanted to try to make it look more aesthetic when you're looking into it from the bedroom. I had these baskets in here from when we originally put the closet in and they're breaking so we definitely have to repair those plus we have some broken lights here up at the top and some funny trim work and then I had these packs units on either side of the inside of the closet that were just too narrow for the space and didn't fully use the width we had there so I wanted to remove those and put something different there instead and of course everything is just really messy and disorganized so I wanted to really purge everything in my closet and make everything more organized First things first, we're removing the drywall on this side of the closet. We took that left unit right out because it wasn't sitting flush with the rest of the units. And this has been something that's been bothering me for a really long time. So Jean was able to remove the drywall off of that back wall. It has some mechanical in it. So we had to use a little bit of a shallower shelf here from Ikea. And then we were able to slide it back in place and make it look nice and even. Now I'm adding some just flat stock trim to the ceiling here on this part of the closet. And then Sean is installing some crown molding. This is just leftover from my brother's kitchen makeover. I thought it would be really neat to make this look more built in by adding some trim on the top just like this. And then Sean is installing some casing on either side. That fills in the little holes that we have on the left and the right of this closet unit and makes it look nice and seamless in the closet. Now I'm going to the Ikea website. I go to ikea.ca and at the very bottom you'll see they have some planners. They have the kitchen planner and they have this storage planner. I'm clicking on the packs option and I'm putting in the three packs units that I have. And I really wanted to get these solid front drawers because I think that's gonna make a huge difference in how the closet looks, especially since we have no doors on it and I want it to look a lot more tidier when you're looking in. So I thought it would be cool to make this wall of the closet a lot of drawers and shelves. And then I thought it would be wise to make the other sides of the closet where I'm removing those smaller units into all hanging areas. I love the addition of these drawers. And then all you have to do here is click on the top and then it shows you a summary of every single thing you need. So I didn't pay this much because we already had the big units. So I just made my list of all the drawers and the little extras that we needed headed to Ikea. And you can easily do a click and collect if you're doing this, or you can go right into the store if you like to browse a little bit like I do. Once I got all of the drawers that I wanted and all of the little extra things, now I'm assembling everything. These are just like anything from Ikea. If you follow the directions, they're really not that hard to put together. Don't do what I did here and miss the dowels on either side. I had to go in and add those later. But once you build one of these drawers, it's pretty straightforward to build all the rest. I had to build quite a few of these. So I just kind of took an afternoon to relax and build all the drawers. Now I'm putting the drawer tracks in my current units and placing the drawers in here. What I wanna do is I wanna have our linens on this side in these more shallow drawers, and then I'm going to put my clothing in the middle section and Sean's on the right-hand side.
I also loved this little tray here that would be perfect for accessories like scarves and watches and belts. I really love how these look and I love how they're going to conceal our clothes a lot better than the old baskets were. And I'm also adding some shelving on top of the stack of drawers just to give everything a nice finished look. For the right hand side of our closet, we had a bit of an issue because there's some mechanical here on the right hand side that I could not cover up because we do need access to it in case anything goes wrong. So I love that Ikea had this little divider piece that I could put in on the right hand side and then I added smaller drawers there and then one larger drawer on top for all of Sean's clothes. Then on the left hand side of this divider, I love that I was able to find this laundry basket. I got this at HomeSense and it fits perfectly inside this side of the divider and I'm still able to access all of that mechanical back there by just pulling out the laundry basket. I also added two shelves in the middle section here. I'm putting a few different Ikea baskets here. Just a side note, I wouldn't recommend putting these seagrass baskets here like I did. They're a little bit too wide for the shelves, so I might swap those out later. In this bottom middle section, I want this to be relatively aesthetic because I see this from my bedroom. So I'm adding a hook to store practical things like scarves and hats, and then adding some pretty things that I probably would store in the closet anyway, like a suitcase that I love, a little bit of artwork, and a tray for some other things. These little plugs from Ikea are really cheap, and they are a great way to make your closets look more finished. You can also use these for your kitchen cabinets as well and they fill in all of those holes inside the cabinet and give it a nice finished look. I'm also adding baseboard on either side of the closet to finish them off and adding some simple rods that I found at Home Depot to the inside sides of the closet. This allows me for a ton more hanging space for all my dresses and I found these really large baskets at HomeSense and put them in the bottom of the closet here to store more accessories and linens. Now I'm going ahead and caulking and painting all of the trim that we installed to make this closet system look nice and built in. I found these cute little lights on Amazon, so I added these into the closet as well with these large Edison bulbs. And I love how they're small and petite, so they really work around that access we need for the attic up there, but I love the style. So just as a reminder, here is how our little walk-in closet looked before. And here it is now. I love that we have a lot more drawers in this space now. And I also love that it's a great mix of practical and beautiful because I'm able to look right in the closet and visually it's just a lot more pleasing. I love that I have a lot more hanging spaces for my dresses. I have the shirts that need to hang on the left, this really nice little spot in the middle to enjoy, and then all of Sean's hanging and folding things here on the right. I really love that I found these large baskets to put underneath all of my hanging items. And I'm so happy we were able to find a solution to cover that mechanical there on the right hand side. After I purged and organized all my clothing, I was able to fit it nicely inside with room to spare. And it feels so good to have this so much more organized and looking a lot better. We have lots of extra space in all of these baskets for seasonal items and more household items. And I love that I was able to do this on a budget with the IKEA pack system.
much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in those comments below what you think of our closet makeover. I truly love how it turned out. It's so easy to find everything now and I love how it looks. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. And I'm going to leave some more videos that I hope you will enjoy and watch next right up here.